did you know that coffee beans are green? I didn't until we came here. This is one of the roasting facilities at Starbucks headquarters in Seattle. Brad Anderson's with us. He's sort of mass, master roaster, if you will. That's the title I'll give you. And what's going on in there right now is that they are roasting these. Right now we're, we're continuing the roast. We're at about 10 minutes or so into the coffee roasting. It's going from green to yellow to lighter shades of brown. And now we're starting to actually develop the color to what we consider to be the Starbucks roast. Here we go. The air is being drawn down through the tray to cool off that coffee as soon as, as quickly as possible. It takes about three minutes to get down from upwards of 450 degrees or so. So now it will cool down. And as soon as it's cool, it will go into this, this stoning system. Now, if you take a look up, you can see what's happening. So what's happening with this process is that this vacuum draws the light beams up and it leaves the rocks behind. Oh, so clean, down in the cleaning bottom. the coffee. It's cleaning the coffee so that you don't get a rock in your grinder. Once this phase is complete, it'll get a weight and then it'll drop it into that bin. That's the finished roast. And we saw the roasting, so then the coffee beans are ground, and now they're here. This is where quality and recipe management is done for Starbucks. Uh -huh. and so we have a team of maybe about 10 or 15 uh, here in the building whose job it is to taste and to make sure that you know Starbucks quality is, is met each and every day. Get so paid to drink coffee. Paid to drink coffee. Not bad. Yep. We might do one table. We might do six tables, just mm -hmm. depending on what coffees are arriving in. And it starts, basically it's starting to brew now, and so we'll let it sit for a couple of minutes. And what, we'll, what you'll start to see is a crust will form on the top, really sealing in a lot of the aroma. I see it, yeah. Mm. And then we get to do something called breaking the crust, which is breaking through, getting connected to the aroma before we taste it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to skim off the, the layer of crust. So we want to kind of clean it up. We're actually now going to taste the coffee. Uh, which we call slurping. And so what we're going to do is take a little bit of coffee, and the coffee's cooled off now, and then you just, just want to aerate the coffee in your mouth. So it might look and sound something like this. Is you just want to compare one coffee to the next. We would then, basically the coffee would shift over to another part of our quality team, and what do we do with the coffee? Do we offer it you know, as a single origin Kenya? Uh, or do we offer it uh, in a blend? 